Hello, good day everyone. This is Teacher Maria Cristina M. Mariola, your today's facilitator. I am going to discuss with you how to square a binomial. So just sit down and relax and enjoy learning. When we say square of a binomial, this means that we multiply a binomial by itself. What are the steps to be considered? First, square the first and the last terms. Then next, get the product of the terms multiplied by 2. And then, the middle sign should follow the given sign. Let us try the first example. Find the square of x plus 6. So for step 1, square the first and the last terms. So we have the square of x and the square of 6. Then for step 2, get the product of the terms x and 6, then multiply by 2. So we have 6 times x times 2. And then the last step is the middle sign should follow the given sign. So we have, for the middle term, we have 2 times x times 6 is equal to 12x. And then for the square of x, we have x squared. And for the square of 6, we have 36. So therefore, the final answer would be x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, if you notice, the middle sign follows the given sign. Let us proceed to the next example. Find the square of 2y minus 10. Step 1, square the first and the last terms. So, we have the square of 2y and the square of 10. Then, for step 2, get the product of the terms 2y and 10, then multiply this by 2. So, we have 2y times 10 times 2. So, do not forget to multiply the product by 2. And then, for the last step, we have the middle sign should follow the given sign. So, we have 2y times 10 times 2 is equal to negative 40y. So, why is it negative? Because the sign of the given sign is negative. So, then we have the square of 2y, 4y squared, and the square of 10 is 100. So, the final answer would be 4y squared minus 40y plus 100. Take note that the first and the last terms should be always positive. The middle sign should follow the given sign. Let us have our last example. Find the square of 4x minus 11y. Again, ulitin natin ang step 1. Square the first and the last terms. Ang ating first term is 4x. Ang ating last term is 11y. Then, for step 2, get the product of the terms 4x and 11y. So, i-multiply natin ang 4x at 11y. And then, huwag kalimutan i-multiply by 2. Then, para sa last example, the middle sign. What should be the middle sign? The middle sign should follow the given sign. So, we have 4x times 11y times 2 is equal to 88xy and it should be negative because the sign of the given sign is negative and then what is the square of 4x 16x square and then what is the square of 11y we have 121y square so what would be the final answer we have 16x squared minus 
xy plus 121y squared. And then, ayan, the middle sign follows the given sign, which is negative. Ayan, minaw na sa inyo ang mga examples. So, meron tayo dito isang geometry proof. You know, class, uh, squaring a binomial is a kind of special product. Bakit siya tinawag na special product? Kasi meron siyang sinusunod na pattern. Alamin natin. So, meron tayo ditong isang square. Hahati-hatiin natin ito sa apat na piraso. So, ang unang piraso is a rectangle. So, the dimensions are the length equals A and the width equals B. Kung kukunin natin ang area nito, A times B equals AB. Ang sumunod na piraso is a square. Kung kukunin natin ang area nito, yung side equals B, we have B times B equals B square. So, ang pangatlong piraso naman is another square. So, ganun din, kunin natin yung area, A times A, equals A squared. And then, yung last na piraso is another rectangle and its dimensions are A and B. Kunin natin yung area, A times B equals A. So, dyan ang galing class ang ating pattern. So, the square of A plus B is equal to the square of A and then, another smaller square, B square, and then yung dalawang rectangles, AB. So, kaya natin, multiply ito sa dalawa. So, the square of A plus B is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. Let us now apply this to a problem solving. Number 1. Alexia Bell roll a die with side 4x plus 2y centimeter. What is the surface area of the die? So, ang una muna natin gagawin ay hanapin natin ang area ng isang square. And the given side is 4x plus 2y following the steps. We have the square of the first term, square of the last term, and then get the product of the two given terms, 4x and 2y, multiply this by 2. So we will get 16x squared plus 16xy plus 4y squared centimeter squared. Okay, since a die has 6 faces, we need to multiply our area by 6. So, therefore, we will get applying the distributive property, 16x squared multiplied by 6. We have 96x squared. Then, 6 times 16xy, we have 96xy. And 6 times 4y squared equals 24y squared. Then, sulat natin yung Okay? So, therefore, the surface area of the die of Alexia Bell is 96x squared plus 96xy plus 24y squared centimeter squared. And let us proceed to the last example. Ben George's favorite pastime is to play the Rubik's if the side of his Rubik is 10 ABC minus 3D centimeter, what is the surface area of the Rubik? So, unahin natin ang pagkuha ng area ng isang square. So, the given side is 10 ABC minus 3D centimeter. Following the steps, we have the square of the first term, the square of the last term, then, get the product of the two given terms. Multiply this by 2. 
So, we will get the area of 1 square equals 100A square minus 60ABCD plus 9D square centimeter square. So, take note lahat ng mga variables na ginamit. Yung A, B, C, and D, lahat yan nasa middle term. Following the sign of the given sign. And then, the first and the last terms are always positive. Okay, go back to the problem. Since surface area yung hinahanap, and there are six faces of a Rubik Cube, we need to multiply our area by 6. So, applying the distributive property, we have 100A squared times 6, 600A squared, negative 60ABCD times 6, mine is equal to negative 60ABCD, and then 9D squared times 6 equals 45D squared. And then, do not forget to write the centimeter square. Okay? Now, I guess you are ready for some exercises. Okay? Find the square of the following. And for letter B, solve the following problem. And do not forget to like and subscribe our channel, TLC Math Made Easy. Thanks for watching. Bye!